All right, let's take a look at this question. You're given an economy with two goods, one and two, and two agents, A and B. You're given A's endowment. You're also given B's endowment. The utility function is same for both of the agents. It is given by log of x1 plus log of x2. We have to solve for the equation of the contract curve. Now, in our truth box video, we found out that contract curve is nothing but just the set of all Pareto efficient points inside our truth box. We also found out the condition for Pareto efficiency, which was that the indifference curves for both the agents, so in this case, agent A and B, should be tangential to each other. Now, if two curves are tangential, that means their slopes are going to be equal. And the slope of an indifference curve is just given by its marginal rate of substitution. We can just calculate that from the utility function itself. So that's all we have to do. We have to equate their respective marginal rate of substitutions and we'll get our equation of the contract curve. So let's do some math. First, let's find out the marginal rate of substitution for agent A. It's given by dividing the marginal utility of good one by marginal utility of good two. Again, this is the utility function. So for marginal utility of good one, all you have to do is take the utility function and partially differentiate it with respect to x1a. So you differentiate ln x1a, you'll get one by x1a, and this you essentially treat as a constant, so this will become zero. So marginal utility of good one is one by x1a. Similarly, you can do it for marginal utility of good 2a as well. You, so you differentiate the utility function this time with x2a. Again, x1a will be treated as a constant, so that becomes zero. And ln x2a is just one by x2a. So the MRS of a is given by mu1a divided by mu2a. That's just x2a divided by x1a. Since our utility function is same for both agent a and agent b, so the marginal rate of substitution for agent B will also be the same. It will just be x2b divided by x1b. Now we have our respective marginal rate of substitution for both the agents. All we have to do is equate them. That gives us x2a divided by x1a is equal to x2b divided by x1b. One more step remaining. Here I have a is initial endowment and b is initial endowment. Now, since we are talking about Pareto efficient points over here, we have to make sure that between the two of them, both the agents, they're consuming every unit of good available in our world, right? So A initially had 10 units of good one and B initially had 15 units of good one. So the total number of units of good one available in our world is just 10 plus 15, so that's 25. So X1A plus X1B should be equal to 25. Similarly, we can do it for good two as well. A initially had 20, B initially had 20, so that's 40. So x2a plus x2b should be equal to 40. Now we can just take these two equations and plug it in our condition for MRS A is equal to MRS B. So that will give us x2a divided by x1a is equal to 40 minus x2a divided by 25 minus x1a. All I have done is substituted the value of x2b and x1b from over here. Now you can simplify this and you'll get this equation 5x2a is equal to 8x1a and that is your equation for the contract curve which you had to solve. So that's all you got to do. You got to equate the MRSs and you are done. Alright, hope you got around that. I'll see you in the next one.